Uh, the doctor deemed that he had a few symptoms of concussion, the memory loss, the vomiting. As a paramedic, Sherry Morrison knows the signs of a concussion. But when her son came home from school sick with one, it hadn't been identified. He was on the playground. He's about nine years old, just at school and was playing and it was winter and there was ice and another kid was on top and they both fell back and so it was the extra weight and he hit the back of his head and uh, cried for a bit and then kind of went in and finished the rest of his day. And Morrison is sharing her story and helping to train others to recognize the symptoms of a concussion. The grade eights at St. John Community School are also getting the basics in first aid and CPR training. As kids, whatever age, you know, that they kind of recognize that maybe their friend is not acting right or that and they saw them fall or even get hit a punch to the head or fall off the swing or whatever and then they kind of see that their friend is not acting right or keeps running to the bathroom to be sick or maybe mention it to the teacher. Jenny Knudsen from Acquired Brain Injury Services passes around a model to show students how delicate the human brain is. Right, so the more serious signs of a concussion are things if their pupils are not the same size to so the, the dark spot of their eyes, if one's bigger than the other, that's a warning sign for a more serious kind of brain injury, as well as if there's blood coming from their ears or their nose, or if they're throwing up or you're not able to wake them up or they're unconscious. Those are some serious signs that this concussion could be uh, a bleed in the brain and more serious for a brain injury. Hockey players from the Prince Albert Raiders help illustrate their points. Even though Captain Curtis Miskey hasn't had a concussion, he's seen the effects of it on others. Teammates have been affected by it. I know some that have even like had to end their, end their careers because of it, which is pretty sad, but it's a very serious thing and it can't, can't really be taken very lightly. Students also got a lesson on automated electronic defibrillation. The talk might help encourage them to take further first aid training to help themselves and others in an emergency. Reporting in Prince Albert, I'm Lisa Rizzo.